the consumer. And by the way, it's about the most important thing in your life, which is your own health or your kids' health or your parents' health. And you have to make these decisions with no information about price points or trade-offs or anything. And you're scared, right? Yeah. I mean, if you Terrified. have to have a procedure or be prescribed a drug, you're not thinking cost bill. You're thinking, of course. what's wrong with me? I feel bad. Or I want to do this great thing, like have a baby, which my wife and I just did. And, right. You know, you want to be excited about it, not then figure out why the person that delivered your baby was paid for, but then somebody that rounded on you wasn't. Right. Because... And this is happening to you, and yet you know so much about the industry. So how do you genuinely think, because were you guys doing AI before all the generative stuff or, you know? What... Yeah, we like to think ourselves as an OG AI company. Mm -hmm. So we have products that are out there working right now. Um, and the way we think about it is, you know, part of what drives how opaque this is, is just the massive amount of data mm -hmm. that sits in the system. So we have the only system in, a world, in the world where a clinician has to justify to a payer, whether that's an insurance company or, or a government, what they did. They use codes to do it. Mm -hmm. And there's about four and a half trillion combinations of codes oh, from codes diagnosis are, codes to building they, codes. And, they're, and then the consumer, they come back and they say, well, give us the codes. And you're typing in, trying to go FV5.05. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, do you genuinely think, what is your company going to do? Are you, do you do for consumers? or uh, Explain what is, it, what is your product and how could it help us out of the situation? Sure. Um, so right now we work on behalf of providers and health systems. So we'll hook up to their data um, and we'll see you know, the claims that they're sending out. Um, and what we do is drive transparency in how basically payers are interpreting those claims. Hmm. So they have to send information back to the provider that basically says we're going to pay this or we're not going to pay it. We're going to deny it. And so we're taking all that data in all the time so we can kind of build up muscle memory to understand predictively, proactively what's actually going to happen. So when you schedule your procedure, we can actually tell you, you know, yes, you have XYZ insurer hmm. and they'll actually cover this thing that you're going to have today. Right. Where right now what they'll tell you is, yes, you have this plan. Mm hmm. But we can't guarantee until they actually pay for it that they're going to. Exactly. Right? And so then you're in this. Well, you already paid for the service. Now you don't know if they're going to cover it. You're, you know, sending paper forms to some place in Minnesota to try to, you know, ar arbitrate this. Or then you have third party layers on top of that. You're talking to them and they're going to talk to the firm. Yes. What is the what is the value proposition for them to have you involved at all? What is it? What is their incentive to allow you to come into this process? Sure. Um, great question. There's, there's really two. Um, one, you know, through this process for health systems, you know, they, they think they ought to be paid X and they end up getting paid Y. You know, so we help them essentially right size, you know, what they're going to get paid. So think, you know, buoying sort of the cash that's coming sure. in. The other is administrative cost. You know, when we talk about, you, you kind of came in talking about PBMs and, and PE firms. And I look at those different segments as, yes, we want to have direct action driving transparency into them, but they're cogs in a big wheel and the wheel itself is broken. Um, and healthcare itself it's $300 billion in just transaction administrative costs of just mm -hmm. processing claims. Just all this data flowing back and forth. And that's what we're directly um, taking shots at. So is there an app or something that I, as the consumer, could go access and download? Or do I have to kind of wait for my providers to be partnering with you and then then I might get emails with more information with some clarity on what I'm going to be paying and so on and so forth. Sure. So right now, business to business. The idea being if the health system and the provider can get it right with our help up front, you never see any of the downstream because it's done right. That, exactly. That's really the goal is taking a reactive system and making it proactive. But stay tuned. Coming soon um, is the ability to do this direct to consumer. What, what would be the best version of what you think the healthcare system looks like in five years? I mean, what's realistically feasible that you could move the needle on here, do you think? I'd love to see a health system without claims. Without um, claims. So more, more purely transactional. You walk absolutely. in, you know, they say you need this procedure. Basically, your insurance plan says they're going to cover it. Here's how I don't know if they say so much as here's how much it's going to cost or mm -hmm. out of pocket or something to that extent. So more to use the grocery store analogy, then it's more like what? Just here's here's exactly how much it is. And here's milk. Here's the price. Yeah. Here's and milk, and here's it's going to be price. covered. Yeah. Fascinating. I, well, I wish you well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of all it. of us that this uh, works successfully. Mike, thanks for joining us to talk about Thank it. Thank you so much. We for appreciate having it. Me. Mike Dejean, Dejeron, she said from. Nailed Anomaly. it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank that you.